do you remember the night of January 10th, 2015? Yes. Why do you remember that night? I remember that night because I was falsely accused of a crime by, not by the state, by the streets. Do you remember the day, earlier in the day, before you learned you were being falsely accused? Did I know earlier in the day? No, sir. Do you remember what you were doing earlier in the day? I think me and, me and my girl, I think we was at a, at a gambling house, if I'm not mistaken. You remember which gambling house? No, I don't remember which one, but I think I gambled all that day. All right. Until nightfall. Okay. And just generally around what time? From like 6 in the morning to, I don't know, midnight? I don't recall the time. Fair enough. At what point or at any point did you leave the gambling house with your girl? I think I left before the football game started. Okay. What football game are you talking about? I don't recall who was playing, but I know the New England Patriots were playing because that's who I bet my money with. Okay, you're a Patriots fan? Yes. Okay. I'm not a Patriot, Tom Brady. Oh, just Tom Brady, nobody right else? Now. Okay. So, did you make any efforts to go somewhere to watch the Patriots game? I went home and watched. Was it a playoff game or just a? I think it was a playoff game, AFC or something. I don't remember. Okay. Do you remember who won? The Patriots. Okay. So you made good money that night. I didn't make it that night. I received it probably two days after. Okay. Not that night. Did you? Take any pictures of yourself watching the Patriots game? I want to say I took a picture of the TV and me and my son, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Did you post that picture anywhere on a social media site of yours? Yes. Okay. Do you remember which social media site? I only think I had Instagram at the time, so. I'm showing you what has already been admitted as states 423Y. Is that the photo that you posted on January 10th, 2015, of you and your son watching the Patriots? Yes. Is the time and date on the bottom, the time and date you remember making that posting? Yes. All right. Would you tell the jury that time and date? The time is 752 p.m. 110. 2015. Can we publish that to the jury, please? Correction, Your Honor. This is going to be 433 Yankee, and the state tenders 433 Yankee as evidence. And the <clears throat> objection or no objection? No objection. Uh, it's admitted apparently without objection from me. Thank you, Your Honor. Showing you 433 in just a moment. Could you zoom out to show the picture? There you go. Okay. Is that the posting that is now on the screen yes. that has been admitted as 433 that you made on January 10th, yes. 2015? Yes. And what was the caption that you put up under there? Watching the game. Let's go Patriots. It's going to sound like a silly question, but would you answer it for me anyway? Why did you put this posting up on your Instagram page? Because at that time, that's when I was watching the game. I do it now. I post when I'm watching the game now. Okay. <laughs> there was no reason to it. Did you watch until the end of the game? Were you able to catch all of the game? Yeah, I watched the complete whole game. Do you know about what time the game ended? I want to say around 10 something or something like that. Okay. I watched the whole entire game. All right. And you have read the time and date of the post already. Yeah. So do you remember what happened after you finished watching the game? Did anything of significance happen? I received a DM around 10 something, and it came across the 10 o'clock news 
Okay. Now, when you say you received the DM, what DM are you talking about? About me and Kenny Copeland is supposed to kill Donovan Thomas. Right. But at that time, I didn't know. That You didn't know he had been shot? No. Okay. What did you do when that DM came across your page? When they, I got me, I got my son and my, his mother out the house. Where did you, first of all, what were you um, driving? Did you have your own car? Yes, I don't remember what kind of car I was in, though. And when you got your son and your son's mother out of the house, what did you, where did you take them? Mm, I want to say, I don't really recall what all I did first for this Lord, but I got him out the house. I know I got him out the house because we all got in the car together. So I don't recall what I did before I got where I was going. I don't recall. All right. That's fair. So when you say before you got where you were going, you don't remember, but where is it that you ultimately went? I, I went down Mr. William house. Did you have family, um, immediate family, anywhere in the city? Mm, what I say? Not, not probably not close enough to Mr. Jeffrey House. Probably was closer to any other one else. House. Where were you living on January tenth, twenty fifteen? Generally speaking, I want the address. Boulevard. Boulevard. Yes. Okay. And where was was your mom living in the city at that time? Uh, I don't remember what address, but the only thing I can tell you is I know the downtown area was closer than Boulevard than anywhere I would have went. Okay. And so where was it um, downtown that you went to get to Mr. Williams' home? Where was he living? I think it was 10th Street, if I'm not mistaken. I don't actually notice. I just know how to get there. Was it an apartment, a condominium, a high-rise, a single-family home, or what? I th it was a condo, I think. I don't know, a loft, whatever you call it. Do you remember the name of it? No. Was it? Do you remember the name Sky House at all? I don't recall the name of it. Okay. Brother. Understanding you don't remember what you did before you went to Mr. Williams' house, do you remember around what time you got there? I know I got to his house probably like 10 something, if I'm not mistaken. How long of a drive would it have been from your house to his house? Probably no longer than eight to 10 minutes. Okay. When you left out the house with your child and child's mother, did you carry a gun with you? Yes, I think I did have a gun with me. What kind of gun? I don't recall, but I know I had a gun. When you went to Defendant Williams' home, somewhere near 10th Street, did you take your child with you? Mm, I'm not for sure. It was so much going on, and I'm not for sure, to be honest with you. I'm not for sure, but I know me, my son, and... His mother ended up at Jeffrey House. Did you take your son's mother with you when you went to Defendant Williams' house? I got to remember, Miss Love. I don't really, really, really remember exactly how I went. Only thing I remember, I ended up at Jeffrey Condo aloft that night. Is it accurate, though, that you left out of your home with your child and your child's mother? Yes. Did you not go straight to Mr. Williams' house? I don't recall. I can't. I, that's what I'm telling you. I don't remember. Put okay. it like, I don't remember. And if it was that you did not take them there immediately, uh, where is it that you would have dropped them off at? I don't I, no, I really I don't I don't remember. I don't remember if I dropped them off anywhere. I don't remember. Okay. 
Would you have had any reason to drop them off before going to Defendant Williams' house? No, because I, I wanted to keep them with me to protect me. Okay. Um, but you can't remember whether you actually did. Is that fair? Yes. Okay. Did you call anyone before you went to Defendant Williams' house? I don't recall calling anyone before I went to Mr. Williams' house. It's fair to say you did know other people in the city besides Mr. Williams. Is that accurate? Right. I yeah, right. But I didn't call anyone. Okay. So why did you go straight to Defendant Williams' home upon learning that Donovan Thomas had been murdered with your, well, your, your baby and your child's mom ended up there as well, right? I actually, I don't really remember. I just know that I ended up at Jeffrey House a lot. That's all uh, I'm trying to think, but I don't really remember. Take your time. But I know I ended up at Jeffrey House a lot. Why did you end up? at his house at night. Like I was said to you before, I just went to the closest place with someone I can trust. Did your house on Boulevard, was it situated um, anywhere near where Donovan Thomas had been shot? I don't know how far it is. I can't tell you that. But it's... Do you know whether the place he was shot was closer to Mr. Williams' house or your house on Boulevard? I didn't know where he got shot at, at first. I just seen it, the scene come across. I didn't even know it was Donovan Thomas until I received that, D that DM. Okay. So, why did you leave your own house? That's the better question. Because I was a curious and I knew that everybody knew why I stayed at on Boulevard. Okay. When you got to Defendant Williams' house, approximately what time was it that you got there? I don't I don't remember the time, Ms. Love. I promise you I don't. I don't remember the time. Would you explain to the jury um the atmosphere or you know what the mood was like when you got to Defendant Williams House? They were watching the laptop trying to put a video together. Uh I wanna think what is the song called Your Venture? Who is they? The person who 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 do the videos for him and him they were sitting around. It wasn't no commotion or like nothing was going on at that time. Who all was there at the house? I don't recall who all was there. Do you recall any people who were there? I know Mr. Jeffrey Williams was there. All right. Who else that you recall? I don't recall anyone else in this courtroom that was there when I got there. All right, once you got there, tell the jury what you did, if you can recall. I brought it to my brother's attention, what they were saying. What brother? Mr. Williams. All right. And then what happened? We all sat around for a minute, and then I don't know what happened. He, we had to get up and go because I knew he had a time frame that he had to be somewhere to make it to Miami. When you say we all sat around for a minute, do you remember who the, the, the we all who, is? The person who was shooting the video and me and Jeffrey Williams. To your, to the best of your memory, were y'all the only three people in the condo? To my best ability, I don't remember the other people without, I didn't know their name, but no one else that I could recall in this courtroom was there when I got there. 
You're talking about in this courtroom, and I respect that, but I'm talking about anybody. Do you I don't know. Anybody I just else? told you I didn't know the name of the people who was there. I didn't, I didn't know everybody from the label or everybody that hung around Mr. Jeffrey because they were Mr. Jeffrey friends. Okay. I wasn't trying to get to know them. Okay. Mr. Jeffrey is my brother. Okay. Do you remember about how many people? Was it crowded, a few uh, people? It, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't too many people when I got there. Um, less than 10 people? It was way less than 10 people. Uh, I can't give you an exact number, so could we move on, Ms. Lowe? I can't give you an exact number. We can move on. At what point then, since your child and child's mother were not two of the people you remember being there, how did, if you didn't take them, do you know how they got to Mr. Williams' house? They got, in, they got there with me. You said other people who was there already. Okay. I didn't know you was talking about the people I took with me. Okay. I wouldn't count them because they came with me. You okay. said who was there when I got there. My child and my mother wasn't there when they got there. Okay. Come on, stop trying to add like. So, Mr. Uh, Sledge. Come on, you can ask this question before I take it. If I could get me a break. Come on, man. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, unless anybody wants to put anything on the record, um, let's all also take a recess.